Warped Blacksmith Challenge, a bottle opener. We're going to take a railroad spike and turn it into a bottle opener. Okay, got the spike in the fire and it's heating up. First thing I like to do is can't take the marks, stampings off the head of the spike, and take the edges off, and give it a kind of overall hammered look. back in the fire. I'm going to start heating the other end now. And I'm going to take and flatten about first four inches of this railroad spike. Back in the fire. I'm trying to do is take half the end of this railroad spike and thin it out to about half its thickness. And I'm also trying to maintain the overall width. Let me drop it again. So you see what I'm trying to do there? Thin it out and lengthen it.
Okay, so that's about what we're looking for. Now we're going to take and work the end here, put some bends and, and turns into it, and that's going to be the working end, the end that we open the bottle with. Now we're going to take and knock off oh, about half an inch. And we're kind of basically looking for something like that. And if you notice, I orient the head of the railroad spike the long part of it up and hit on the other end down to get that bend. And I cool off the end of it. I'm going to bend it. I'm going to have to put that back in the fire and get her hotter again. Try this again. <coughs> and the puddle again. That's what I was shooting for, but I inadvertently open that up on the end. I need to close that up, and so back and fire goes.
Well, I'm going to put it in the vise to get that little bit back in place where I want it. So I'm going to reposition the camera and point it at the anvil or the vise. Well, I think I messed up there. And you didn't see any of that. But let's see if I can get things. Okay, I had that all set up and I realized I didn't hit play, but that's basically what you want. Right there. And now I'm going to heat it back up on that end and just kind of refine it a little bit. Make sure everything looks straight the way I want it. And then we'll move on to putting a twist in the handle end. Okay, so there we are. I uh, basically kind of flattened this part up a little bit. Because um, the top of the lid's going to rest uh, right there, and that's going to catch the, the, the bottom of the cap. And, uh, and then you pry it up and pop it off. So now I'm going to put the other end in, and we're going to put a twist in it. Now, a lot of times I'll lengthen that and I'll put like double twists and stuff but for right now I'm just gonna leave it uh, the length it is and put just one single twist in it okay, while that's heating up I'm gonna reposition the camera to uh, try to catch it at the vise and I'm going to use my homemade twisting wrench made out of Harbor Freight um, pipe wrench with a piece of rebar welded onto the end. Well, I did it again, had it all set up for the vise, and I think I forgot to hit record. So, I made the twist, now I'm just heating up to give it a nice brush. So that's what we got. Um, 
Now the proof will be in, we'll open the bottle. We're gonna have to wait until I cool it off, until it gets cooled off, and uh, give it a shot. Okay, ooh, it's still a little on the warm side. Let's see if it opens. Oh, no problem whatsoever. It tastes good. Now what I usually do is I wire brush this with a, a brush that I put on my uh, hand drill. And then I'll usually uh, do a coat of canola oil, canola, canola oil. Uh, pop it in the oven, 400 degrees for about an hour, and that gives it a nice baked finish. That's hard, food safe. Um, yeah, but that's all we got. This is another one I did that has that finish on it. And this is also one where I lengthen the handle section and I put a double reverse twist on it. Easy little project. Uh, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, this is my first time doing an actual video. Uh, usually just uh, Throw some pictures together and make a little collage. Uh, thanks a lot. Uh, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment.